Hello everyone, welcome to Gossip Work Works, my name is James and today we're working on my Thomas the Tank layout again. This time we'll be adding some weathering to the layout, which is pretty much a, uh, artificially aging the buildings and structures and stuff like that, just to make things look a bit more realistic and a bit more lived in, because uh, as you can probably guess from real life, things don't stay clean or, uh, well, for very long really, so uh, yeah, I'll be adding some artificial uh, aging to the layout, just to make it look bit more nicer and it does have a very nice effect when it's all done so yeah we won't get clean brickwork like this we'll be adding some scuff to it but uh, yeah I'll be using uh, some of this uh, Tamiya weathering kit here which has some nice colours here which I tend to use and also some artistic pastels which we do need to get around to preparing as well which I will show you uh, uh, in a moment but uh, yeah it's just basically adding a little bit uh, bits here and there, add a little bit more colour and uh, yeah it should have a very nice effect when it's all done. So yeah, let me just get this uh, up onto the table and I'll show you how I get my pastels all ready but uh, then we'll get straight on to work adding extra, well basically weathering the layout. So see you in a sec. Right here we are up on my desk and we've got everything all set out ready to get prepared. So I'll just show you what I've got. Uh, first of all, you send the Tame Air kit, which is a little self-contained weathering kit. Uh, they normally come with a range of uh, colours to use and also a, well, it comes with a brush and a uh, smudging tool. So that's quite useful. However, mine's a bit mucky, so uh, yeah, it gets everywhere. So I'll just pop that over here. I uh, have got my weathering pencils, which I've only just learned actually how to use. Uh, apparently you need to wet the material first and then use them. So I'm going to see how that works, but it's basically, well, as you think, it's to either add highlights or just to scuff up a little area. So you just add a little bit of water, then uh, you meant to rub it in as well. So yeah, I'll see how that works. But uh, I've got uh, range colours, I've got some concrete marks, earth brown, uh, streaking dirt, dust and rain marks, and buff. So yes, this is also to help pick out uh, details as well, so that's always good to use. And on to the last bit, I've got my colourful pastels, which most of them I won't actually be using, because uh, I don't think uh, we can weather stuff with uh, well, bright red all that much often so uh, this is how I get them prepared so I'll get the colour which I want to use I'll use black because I tend to use black quite a bit Ooh, come on out there we go so yeah these are just normal pastels which you can use for art and uh, they come you can get them quite cheap off Amazon or any other suitable marketplace so you just get a blade of some sort I'll be using a pair of scissors and you just scrape away. Yeah. Till we get a decent amount onto the plate. Bit squeaky, but. <laughs> Right, I'll just stop that for now. I'll get some more when I need it. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we've now got a powder of pastel. And I tend to use a makeup brush because it's nice and soft. We can get it into lots of little spaces. And uh, it's not a uh, important brush for me. I don't use it for art. I only use them for, um, well, for this really for weathering. And uh, you can just dab it around then brush it on lightly or where you want it and then if need to brush a bit harder as well and uh, again you can get these cheap off any online store as well so that's what i'll be planning to do uh for all um all the models uh, all the uh, buildings so yeah i'm gonna get these all uh ready so i might just do a clip of me <laughs> uh getting all the colors which i want it's mostly all the earth color no Earth browns and a bit of grey as well. Uh, more black because I'll definitely need to use a lot of black. Uh, I may also get the uh, bag of coal dust. Which I, well, coal, not coal dust. Um, 
bag of small coal as well because uh, it does come with coal dust and that does work quite nicely as well obviously since it's a uh, steam aids coal dust will be absolutely everywhere and well might as well use the proper stuff to uh, weather things so uh, yeah i'm going to get this all prepared uh, you can watch me for a little bit um, scraping more of this to get all the colors which i need you can mix and match them if you want so i may add a little bit green just so i can uh, maybe add a green not too sore mostly just gonna be these earth colors so uh, yeah i'll see you in a bit and uh, you'll see me uh well weathering my layout in a bit so uh, yeah see you in a bit There we go. Um, <laughs> it wasn't a particularly long video, but uh, it wasn't really much to weather. Unlike uh, Bosnport, has many, many, many buildings. So uh, yeah, pretty much all done. Uh, it's a bit subtle in places. Uh, I did try to add a bit more where I could. Uh, used some of the uh, weathering. Uh, was it the Tamiya uh, stuff just to? Uh, clean up some of this uh, white edging and it's turned out quite nice a little bit of weathering there uh, this I may have done a bit overboard with uh, it's a bit difficult to see in the video because of the shadows but uh, maybe a little bit too much of that one uh, over here that's this one's a bit easier to see uh, I did end up using my fingers uh, after well near the end of the video and after the video just to get it really in there because um, sometimes you just need to get your fingers in there and your hands in there just to really get uh, the look which you want uh, again that might be a bit bit much um, that's turned out quite nice I'm happy with that one, that one now went around the edges so it made sure there's a lot of muck on top uh, that one May have gone a bit over the top on the air. Well, wasn't with our hands in the way, but uh, on the side there, I made a bit too much there. I made to get a little bit of paint and uh, touch that out. Maybe, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, already done that building. These I tried to add a bit of weathering to, but uh, 
unfortunately uh, the pastel powder and everything else didn't quite uh, hold on to it or it just embedded itself into it so you can't really see it so uh, yeah maybe a little bit of grey on there but oh well now this corner de definitely got my fingers in afterwards just to really get uh, something up onto the retaining walls just to make it look much better and I can see spots where um, I need to cover up with some foliage just to hide some gaps <laughs> Yeah, it's turned out quite nice. A bit difficult to see on this corner. Like I said, some bits uh, subtle, some bits not too subtle, but uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with how it's turned out. Like I said, it's only meant to be a short video, just to add a bit of weathering. Uh, I did have a go at uh, these pencils, but uh, I may not be using them properly. Uh, I may have a go at uh, using them off camera but uh, yeah trying to use them with water just didn't quite work well uh, the layout because um, water tends to be bad on train layouts because uh, everything's using PVA glue and that's water soluble so uh, yeah luckily it was only on a little bit of cardboard up top here on the uh, platform just to test it out but uh, did also try just wetting the ends and that seemed to be a bit more effective but uh, yeah I'll have to see afterwards oh well I'm quite pleased with how it's turned out did try to make sure that uh, there's enough black at the top here for the tunnel entrances and stuff like that for the smoke from the trains but uh, well, it's soot from the trains anyway. Remember to do inside of there as well. well that's pretty much it, really. I said, only a short video, and may or may not have done anything, but I feel like I've done something anyway. Um, <laughs> I've done this for just over an hour. So, yeah. Just to add a little bit extra. Anyway. Do let me know what you think in the uh, comments below. If you do like it, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. And if you didn't like the video, well, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. But that's going to be it for me because uh, I need to clean my fingers. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Take care, everyone. See you all again next time. Bye-bye.